know, I had a, I had my tripod here for a while, and I don't see it now. I wonder if I, I thought I might have taken it up to the house, but it's not up at the house. I thought it was in my car. It was living in my car for a while. I'll go look. What a beautiful structure this is. I just love it. I love the sound of it. I love the smell of it. I love the way it feels when I walk on it and when I hold it. Well, that's... Okay, so now... This is where I've been working. Needs some... have these big willows, which I'm going to use to finish weaving this wool roof. Now this is a double wall. See how this has worked out? So the outer wall has, has all the grass on it. And the inner wall, I was thinking, you know, you could fill it with something. What about filling it with fleece? Wouldn't that be fun? It would make a mess. But I could. That would really make it warm. If I, if I filled it with fleece, now here it's not yeah, you know what? If I if I did continue this wall down further, I could I could fill it with fleece. Now here I don't have a double wall. But that's an interesting I, I insulating idea. Okay, I, it's not in there. It's a cattail thing. Now this one here, this is the basketry dome. Now you have to, it's very, very short, so you have to sit. But once you're sitting, it's nice, eh? It's wonderful. It's a little room. Very short, but it's just good enough. And see, I I redid these walls. Oh, something has happened here. This wall here is not where it was. Perhaps, um, perhaps it's when someone came through. That's probably what happened. And this little wall here. You see, this was the arch here. This was the, the doorway. And the arch went over there and so I put some vertical there and I wove that way but it doesn't look like I did a very good job at all and over here I also did the same thing and it also needs more weaving to go across and then I wove see I wove the grass in afterwards can't see where the inner stick is. Oh, there's one down here. Somewhere. Anyway, so that needs more work. There's a bit of light coming in here through this wall. I should probably take some grass and just reach it in from this side and, and fill it in there. I can do that. Anyway, okay, so that's this room. And it didn't get wet in there, you know. Now these are all the willow I was gonna use. I guess, isn't this nice from the back, Willem? Mm -hmm. From the back, it looks really nice. This entrance way, the foyer. <laughs> and these willow, I don't know if they're, what's happening with them. Maybe they're not dying. Maybe they will. But these are, these may root and then be a circle here. Not too big a circle. And then there's another circle over there.
yeah, that that room, instead of calling it the tunnel, Willem, I think I'm going to call it the foyer. Now, what room are you talking about? The tunnel. <laughs> where, where, the one I'm working on. The living willow structure that I'm covering with grass. Okay. And I was calling it the tunnel. I'm not going to call it a tunnel. It's a little foyer. It's the foyer for the area. The welcome room, the gate. What do you think? So the tunnel is just part of, part of this path you, you mean? No. The arch the, the yeah, the archway that go the willow archway that goes over the two chairs. Yeah. Is that the tunnel? Yeah, because it used to go through. Okay. But it doesn't go through anymore. I think our tea is ready. It is greenish in color, so... It's very nice. I have a crack in my in my bowl. So I have to be careful. I also have a bit of... something there. Oh, now what's the time? I have to keep my eye on the time for another reason. It's seven minutes to four. So we have about half an hour. Did I offer you any? Would you like some tea also? It's pretty nice. You could do worse. It's actually quite nutritious, you know, nettle tea. It tastes different than dried nettles, don't you think? Um, like, like a, you mean tea made from dried nettles? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, the dried nettles are generally older, I think. Those are just young ones. And also, I think uh, we need to, we tend to put more of the nettles in when they went, when after, after we like we only have a few leaves. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it's not, it's not as uh, concentrated or whatever you call it. Well, now it doesn't matter if our fire doesn't go. See, we only needed the fire for about an hour. But I lit it at about 1.30, I think. We used up a lot of birch bark, a whole, well, it was not that much, but a four inch wide strip. How's your tea? Very good. It's still, it's still pretty hot, but it's drinkable. It's nice to sit out here and eat tea in a very nice wilderness place. You know, if this road weren't here, this whole place would be just, we'd be way out in the wilderness. I love this grass. I love how it moves and it's our little wall between here and the path. I think I've got to take that apart again. It's a, it's quite a mess over With there. That thing? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. It's never gonna, those pieces are never gonna work. Not those one, the alders that are underneath everything. There's a lot to be changed there. I'm trying to figure out ways to use alders uh, to make deer fence or, or something to because that deer netting is pretty darn expensive. And we have all this all this. Oh I see. Well land. if it's yeah, if you yeah, it's gonna get brittle. You're gonna put a lot of work into it for one year and then it'll be brittle and it'll break the next year. Mm -hmm. But the deer don't know that. <laughs> no. But but they're gonna try. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to have pretty small holes to keep their noses out. They have a long skinny nose. Yeah, but... Yeah, but they, they don't, they don't... Okay.
These tamarack trees are fabulous. What a beautiful color. Oh yeah, it's almost Scarlet's birthday when the whole world turns yellow. Yellow like our little grass house. I have, I brought all these chairs away from the road, uh, from the, my little sitting, our foyer. So now you know what the foyer is? You go there and you'll, before you go to the road, you go through the foyer? Yeah. yeah. The entrance way. And that little room is the, what's that? The parlor. Ah, that's good. That's the parlor. That's the parlor? No, the parlor is the little room I'm working on. Which is that, that big hump of that there over there? Mm -mm. No, you come through the arch. Yeah. And then right beside it is the living willow structure with two chairs were in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is parlor. now the parlor because the parlor. that's the first thing you see when you enter a house or a dwelling. This is kind of a compound. Our little grass hut settlement. Our little chair pair over there. Where is it? There it is. Double chairs and a nice little shelter over it. And we've got Tisha's swing here with cattails behind it. Oh, and we mustn't forget the outhouse. There's the outhouse. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I can't see it. Well, I'll have to look at it. There it is, right there. Okay, that's why we couldn't see it, because the sun was right above it. So, aim this right to the sun. I don't know where it is again. The sun, where's the sun? Let the sun shine. Well, the sun is reflecting in it. Anyway, somewhere over there is the outhouse. <sighs> Is there um, a sound of crickets or anything? Crickets? Or any kind of buzzing? Or is that my tinnitus? I hear my tinnitus. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hear yours. <laughs> well, we'll just pretend that those are tonight. The, the, the tonight, the, the, each tonight is making its noise, so that's why we hear the tinnitus. Yes, go but ahead. normally, like the uh, cricket, you, you, you hear the, 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 the birds of sound, right? But the tinnitus, for me, and that for me, it's kind of a constant buzz. Well, that's what some some animals do, like a katydid, did, doesn't it, or cicada? I don't know. I thought, I thought they all have kind of... They make a little a buzz. No, they just buzz. It's tinnitus. Yes, the Latin word for katydids is tini. So plural of tini is tinnitus. So all the tinnitus are making their song. They're buzzing. We're hearing the tinai. This fire has been really nice. what does a katydid in the presence? It's not a Katie did, it's a Kakeda. Oh, a Katie did in the present? In the present. Katie does. <laughs> oh, Katie did and Katie does. Okay. Katie will do. When I first learned that word, I was like, what, 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 Katie, what did Katie do? <laughs> yeah, I know. Me too. You know, that's a nice little patch of, of nettles there in the garden bed. You know? It's, it's come back. I harvested all those um, big, tall nettle stems with the seeds on them. And now they're, it's all sprouted up again. You know, you realize that nettles, you can eat them right away. They're one of the first things you can eat. And they're going all the way through until October. So, so theoretically, you should be able to sit here all year and have nettle tea. Have a campfire nettle tea. All season, um, you know, not winter. 
but the winter time you're having the dry nettle tea, right? I think I'm going to have to start thinking about going out there. It's going to, time is going to be running out. People look. It's really interesting to look at people as they come along the traffic. Mm -hmm. Because they're all, not all of them, but a lot of people are looking. They're looking the whole time they're passing it. Some, like those two last ones that just went by, they were amazed. They were like, oh, look. It was a cool way they looked at it. And there's so many parts to it now, you know? And those, those um, you come in the gate and you go past the parlor, which is in process, and you come between two, you know, the two rows of tamaracks. They, they make the path. You know, it's really become a, a beautiful place. You know, and then around the teepee, got a path around there. I gotta tidy that up to the stream. That doesn't look as good. And that pile of my wood pile there. I guess I'll burn it as I have campfires. But it would be better to take it apart and to to actually stand those those pieces up in this in this alder bush, you know? Because right now they're they're kind of an eyesore out there. And I'll do that. That'll be one of the tidy up projects here. It's nice to be making it into a nice home. You know? Our, our other spot. I need the tripod. It's not working without the tripod. Would you like some more tea? I'll check the time. It's 4.05. Okay, 4.04. I'm going to pour some for me. Look at how hot it is. You mm -hmm. can put it on the table and let you put it where I can reach it, on the corner of the table, and then move your hand. When I lived in Jamaica, we would have our dinner, which was high tall, in the middle of the day sometime, and it was made out of lots of vegetables, and it and we had it in not a gourd, but a calabash, a, a half of a shell from the calabash plant. to put the camera and zoom it in so when people come by I could actually see them see their faces and see what the look on their face is as they drive by. <laughs> it's my little magnifying glass, my binoculars. But people have their privacy. I like that little building over there, you know, the grass hut, um, the basketry dome. See, this one's going slowly. How's your tea? It's good. I like this. I like the view of the teepee, but I, I've got to clean that up. That really is a big, uh, it's an embarrassment when I bring people around and they have to look at that. Maybe I should begin by standing those up in this alder bush. Right? Yeah, I think I'm going to move them. Oh, what's the time? 
It is seven after. <sighs> Keeping track of time. I just, I was thinking about something and putting it somewhere and I came up with this great idea of, of having a hook on the side of the, on the side of the swing. And then I figured out how to do it and I did it and then I had no idea what I was going to hang up there. No idea, I still don't remember. But I thought it was probably a good idea to do it anyway. Because I had been wanting to do it and... Yeah, you can always use a hook. There we go. How is your tea still? Good? My car is not suitable. It's full of... What do you think? Is that a okay thing? And then I'll I'll probably be there in time. But just in case I'm not. Well I'll go and I can I can You can take your now. car and go in your car over there. Okay. And it's ten after twelve eleven after four. Okay, I'll probably go up to the house and Something, something to break. Well, okay, okay, so you okay, have 15 minutes. Yeah, something like that, sure. But, but don't be late. But I might get there in time myself. Okay. But just in case I don't have the right time on my hand, my clock. Okay.
improving. to make sure they're not going to fall on the, on the path. This is looking much better.
Okay. So what else should go? Maybe this is true here. That's definitely this true here. much better. Wow. I didn't know how much better it would be. Okay, that is much better. I think there's two in here that should go over there Okay, that's done. Okay, so let's put our campfire out. <laughs> <laughs> 